In this video tutorial, we're going to jump back into code. Specifically, I want to look at something called event handlers. Before I get into event handlers, I just wanted to point out that this is a one of the classic examples of where learning JavaScript or a concept in JavaScript will apply, will have application rather, in many other languages that are out there. For instance, event handlers are a mechanism that you see in languages like ActionScript, like Java, C Sharp, and several others. So by learning event handlers in this video and in JavaScript, you will pretty much have learned a lot about event handlers in many other languages. So down the road, when and if you decide to pursue other languages, you'll, uh, it's going to be a lot easier for you because you will already have learned it in JavaScript. So if there's ever times that you're sitting through one of my videos or maybe you're learning uh, another language and you're getting a little bored and you're wondering what's the point, just keep that in mind that a lot of times that the concepts that you learn in one language will help you understand or will be pretty much the same thing as in another language. There'll be a little bit of difference in the way it's executed in the different languages, but that's not the hard part. The hard part is understanding the basic concept to begin with. And one last point about this, JavaScript is a great language to learn with because it's a language that's based on the C programming language. And why that's important is because many other languages, like I mentioned before, are JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, ActionScript, which is Flash's programming language, and of course JavaScript, they're all based on C. So having that same root will make it really easy for you to jump from one to the other. And today in web programming or web design, these are all interesting languages. Although, you know, Java, C Sharp, that's more for building really hardcore server-side programming. But uh, a lot of you may want to get into ActionScript, for instance, later on. And for you to go from JavaScript to ActionScript will be really easy. What are JavaScript event handlers? Well, I'm going to read through a couple points, and then we're going to jump into some code right away because I think it's just going to be a lot easier to understand when you see the code in action. But let's just start off with these points. Event handlers are built-in mechanisms that basically scan for actions or events to happen in your web page. So for example, when someone clicks on, on a paragraph or some piece of text on your page, that event handler is called on click. Think of it as on the click. When somebody moves a mouse over an image or a paragraph or anything in a web page, that event handler would be called on mouse over. When a page is loaded into the web browser, that's called on load. Before I go on with this uh, near theory, let's just jump into some code. I'm going to pop open my uh, code editor. I'm just going to use Adobe CS4 Dreamweaver. Eh, be consistent. Again, you can use any text editor that you feel comfortable with. That's up to you. Even Notepad is fine. I just use it because uh, it's kind of nifty. So it's, uh, I'm using a trial, so I'm expecting that little trial window to pop open. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I got 20 more days. So I'll let you have to buy this, I guess. Uh, index very okay we got our simple web page here not very exciting but uh, it will be soon okay so I got a paragraph so I'm just going to add an event handler so I'm going to go see that little drop down list that's uh, that's Dreamweaver uh, giving me options as you can see here it gives me all these options like code hinting almost so you got on click, on double click, on key down, on key press, on mouse up, mouse down, over out, over in. You know, this is um, what you call it. These are all the different event handlers that you can apply to paragraphs. So Dreamweaver is intelligent enough 
to figure out what we're trying to do. So it gives us these options. So I'm just going to do double click on that. So on click. So what are we going to do on the click? So we're just going to say, I'm going to pop up our handy alert box. We've seen this in a previous video. And I'm going to say, there we go. So let's, uh, let's preview that in a browser and see what it looks like. There we go. I'm using Firefox here. Let me just shrink this into screen size. Here we go. So I'm going to use Firefox. So watch this. I'll click on it. Oh, nothing happened. Error, error. What's the error? I know why. You see, we talked about the alert in a previous video. And if you notice, on click, I have to use, when I call on click, this event handler, I have to use the quotes here, double quotes to surround it. Anything, let me just uh, select all this, I'll call it, cut it out. Anything in between these brackets are going to be called by the browser. What I mean called, I mean it will fire it off so we can put functions and we can put all kinds of stuff in there. This is for JavaScript, right? It's all JavaScript. Anything in between these two things, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like body and body. It's like P and P. Anything in between these two things will will uh, be responded, will be activated. There's a word, will be activated by the web browser when somebody clicks on this paragraph, right? Because we apply the on click on the paragraph. So I put in the classic alert. Now the reason it didn't work is because in JavaScript you can't have a quotes, you can't have double quotes inside of a double quotes. You have to have a single quote. They have to go like this. See so a single quote save. So there's a little JavaScript tip. This is pretty consistent actually. So let's now refresh this. Try again. There we go. Ouch, you click me. So what can we take away from this? Number one, you can apply event handlers, and there are many. We just looked we looked at on click as one, onto all kinds of elements on our page. Right, just about any element that people interact with, right? You wouldn't apply an event handler to title because people can't really interact with the title because the title of the page appears up here, right? So we know that we can apply event handlers to elements on our page. We're talking about elements, tags, and so forth, and images. But we also know that we can apply different types of uh, event handlers, like we had on click. Right, so if, uh, when we go back here, I click on something, the alert pops up. So what that does is that on the click, do this. And in this case, we said, call this alert box here. And that's just one example, your first introduction to uh, an event handler. Let's put in another one. Let's say on mouse over. All right, we'll try that one, save it. I'll refresh the page. So I, I'm not going to click. I'm just going to run my mouse over. See how it popped up? I just have to run my mouse over it. Pretty cool. There's a lot more to event handlers in JavaScript, and we're going to explore that in the next couple of videos. Uh, one or two. I'm not sure how many more we're going to do after this. So this is just, just the end of video number one on event handlers. And I'll see you in the next video.